Hi friends, we have got a lot of writing to do and a lot of talking about some vocabulary. Today it's triangles. So we're going to talk about our first one, obtuse triangle. Now we know the what obtuse means. I'm going to write this down. There we go. An obtuse triangle. is one angle is up to is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees now 180 degree angle is a straight line so when we've got an obtuse angle here we go I'm going to create my obtuse angle let's see if I can do this really hopefully we can get this all designed there's my obtuse angle notice that I'm gonna put this right here notice that my this angle right here is really it's greater than 90 degrees our next triangle is pretty famous we you, we see it a lot it is a right triangle and this means that one one square angle that measures 90 degrees so it has a 90 degree measurement and let's see if we can I'm going to turn on my triangle drawing thing let's see if this if I can do this let's see I'm gonna undo that okay here we go the secret is going straight down and then over no nope, not quite let's try it. Uh, come on now we need a good right triangle now is that looking right triangleish no oh hey look see how guys do you see how it can give us our we want it right at 90 uh, no 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 here let's try it again We want this to be right at 90 degrees. Uh, and I'm going off of the paper, guys. There we go. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Almost. Okay, guys, this is our right triangle. I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to undo the little triangle. Um, let me show you how we drew it you can see right here the measurement right here is 90 degrees we have to keep working to get that 90 degree angle our next um our next triangle is an acute triangle acute triangles and as you can tell by the name all angles are less than 90 degrees. I'm gonna turn here we go. Wish us wish us well as we make an acute triangle. And um, I don't know if you can see, but it, when we're drawing it, it gives you the angle measurements. So helpful. Ah, look at that. And notice that all of our angles are less than 90 degrees. In fact, I think they're about they're about 60 degrees right now. So these are um, less than 90, less than 90, less than 90. And this is our other crazy one. This is called our scalene. Our next triangle is called a scalene triangle 
and I liked that this is a unique triangle. All sides are different in length. There are no twins in this. They're all unique. And I'm going to just draw, freehand this, So nothing is the same on this. They're all different in length. So different sides in different in length. Not necessarily an angle, but, but um, in the length. And our next one is, um, I'm looking at my notes, I call this the twin triangle. This is the isosceles. isosceles. Ugh. And um, this is at least two of the sides are equal in length. Oh, getting all excited. Two of the Two of the sides are equal in length. So let's draw a cute little isos isosceles triangle. And like I say, I call this the twin triangle because we have two sides that are even. Okay. Here is my isosceles triangle. This side, oop, let me turn this on. This side is the same length as this side. And we have our um, one more, two more triangles. The next triangle to remember is our equilateral triangle. Now tell me when you're hearing this, what does this remind you of? Yes, an equilateral triangle. Let me spell it E-qui-la-ral. Equilateral triangle. And this is where all the sides are equal in length. So let's... Here we go. I'm going to turn on my little shape maker. Okay, we're going to watch this. You need to have these all. Make this fairly big. And Almost, we're almost there. Almost, just a little teeny bit. Okay, pretty, pretty darn close. This triangle is all the sides are equal in length. I call this the triplets. They're all the same. They're all the same size. Um, isosceles, I call my twins. And my equilateral triangle, I call the triplets. They're all alike. And finally, our equal angle. This is where the sides are all the same length. Equilateral means it's all the same length. When we have E equal, equal angle. Equal angular triangle is similar, um, but what it means is that all of the angles are the same measurement. And we'll try this again. Um, actually, this is also an equal angle, equal angular triangle. Um, I've put these all as, as they're all about, they're all 60 degrees right through here. 
now. Um, I'm going to pause and then we're going to jump into lesson practice. But if you need to remember these scaling, to all of these, go over your notes. You're going to see these a lot. So I want to make sure that you understand obtuse, triangle, right triangle, acute triangle, scalene triangle, isosceles triangle, equilateral triangle, and equilangular triangle. And we'll, I'll join you for the practice set. Okay, we're back at the practice set. I'm just putting it all together. Can a right triangle have two right angles? Let's try this. If we have, here's our right angle. And um, to connect, to make it a triangle, we can't do that. If we have two right angles and we put them together, um, it turns out to be a, a rectangle or a square. So no, you cannot have two tri triangles in a triangle. You can't have two right angles in a triangle. Our next question. Hopefully you were paying attention. What is the name of a triangle that has at least two sides that are equal in length? I hope you were paying close attention. If you want to peek, take a little teeny peek at your notes. Hurry and write it down while I write it. Hopefully we write down the same answer. I call this my little twin. I've now got to look at the eyes. I have to always see that C is um, silent isosceles triangle. I think twins. And there you have it. Good luck on the homework, my friends.